Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rexpens TV. I'm Lindsay Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, January 20th, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. Let's check in with Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Valencia. Sports fans, everyone's favorite bobsled team is back for the Winter Olympics. Jamaica has a four-man team heading to the Games in Beijing this year for the first time in over 20 years. This year, Jamaica is adding a new snowy sport to their list. Benjamin Alexander will be representing Jamaica in skiing. For a country that has never seen snow, let alone ski slopes, their debut back in 1988 created so much excitement that a movie was made about them called Cool Runnings. Check out the movie for the story. It's most definitely a great watch. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is teriyaki chicken patty, hamburger bun, veggies, fresh orange, ketchup, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. But I'm tea, let's get back to lunch, yeah. Thank you, Sonia. Scholars, FSA night starts next week. they are next week, Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday is for grades 3rd through 5th, and Thursday is for grades 6 to 8th, and they start at 6 p.m. I hope to see you there. Our March Already Challenge is on now and ends on March 16th. Students must have passed 25 math and reading already lessons to get to go to the glow party. Let's get our lessons done and glow crazy for this next challenge. I can't wait. It's going to be a glorific experience. The Hero Store is now open. The store is open from 7.15 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. and it's in room 114. Have a look at this schedule to see when you will be able to attend. Tomorrow, only kindergartners can go to the Hero Store. Let's keep storing up those Hero Points. Patriots. Picture retakes will be on Monday, January 24th. This is for the people who weren't able to take their pictures on Picture Day. It starts at 8.45 a.m. and ends at 10.30. It takes place in the gym. Try to look your best for the picture. Scholars, it is now time to let your vote count. Student government voting will be taking place tomorrow, Friday, January 21st. Here's a list of the students that are running. We wish all of our candidates the best. Yo, it was good pictures. We're going to have an upcoming car wash for all sports coming we need uniform balls and gear. Car wash is on January 29th, 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. $10 a car, come on, let's make it a splash. Our Pines Patriots car wash is coming up soon. It's on Saturday, January 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It costs just $10 per car wash. Tickets are sold on myschoolbucks.com. This event will be a great help to our school's athletes. These cars deserve to sparkle. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thanks, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Looks like today's weather is 79 degrees Fahrenheit and probably cloudy. The past few days, it's been cold, but it has ended. So look forward to normal Florida weather. In other weather news, the Tonga Island volcano erupted, which resulted in many houses and communities being flooded and left in disaster. This volcano caused many smoke clouds to appear. These smoke clouds alerted neighboring islands to come help with the problem. Luckily, the volcano didn't eject any magma rocks into the air and only caused minor flash flood. 
Now let's go to Vonnie for Patriot on the Go. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm your host, Vonnie, and today's question is, if you had a business, what would it be about? Now let's see your Patriots answers. If you had a business, what would it be about? Uh, it would be about, like, if, like, you have a watch and I'll just it'll make a watch and when you click the button, it just calls the police or emergency. Oh, so a watch business? Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. But why? Because I just want to help around the community. That's a great answer. Not to your next Patriot. How would you like to be interviewed? Sure. Well, I have a question for you. If you had a business, what would it be about? I would have a hair salon where you get your hair done, your nails, manicures, pedicures, and also makeup. Oh, and why is that? Because I like to do hair and nails, and I think I'm really good. Oh, cool. Well, that's a great answer. Let's see our next Patriot. If you had a business, what would it be about? For me, I would want a New York deli, because, you know, that's where I'm from, and I want to have other people experience, you know, the the light of a bacon, egg, and cheese, you feel me, and a chopped cheese from New York delis. And why is that? Because, like, they're just so good, you know, the food is immaculate, and New York just got that amazing vibe to it, like, I want to, I want other people to experience it, you feel me? Yeah, I get it. Okay, well, let's see our next Patriot. <laughs> well, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. If you had a business, what would it be about? If I had a business, it would, it would be about creating a VR RPG MML game where we would wear a headset so like sort of online but it's not going to be glitched obviously so so the main mission is to, to clear, clear the game and on a ton, ton of currency to, to buy weapons armor books for upgrading your sword and your, your character level oh sounds fun can't wait to play it Thank you, Patriots, for all your interesting responses and answers to the question, if you had a business, what would it be about? Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, Vonnie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Wafiko Oladell, Tristan Abel, and Sarah Joseph. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations to represent. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Not for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Only. You were the only one who had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what material was used to make the first ever hockey pucks? The correct answer is frozen cow dung. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. How many chambers does the human heart have? Teachers, please send your answers to pints.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!